doing a tool change can either be one of the easiest or the hardest things you have to do on your new CNC, especially if you're changing bits often. Uh, one option is to use a piece of paper off of your machine bed or your spoil board. Another option is to have a modular tool height sensor that you've got to jog down to. Um, the way we do it on the FMT machines is very simple. Uh, you're just going to change your bit, so if this is going to be tool 4, we'll put that back in tool 4 with the updated bit. The next step is we'll go to the machine and we're just gonna type in a simple line of code. In this case, it's tool four, so it's literally M104, cycle start, and you'll see the machine's going to grab that tool. It's going to measure it on the end here. It's then gonna record the offset in the controller and it will be there for future tool changes, future programs. You don't have to continually remeasure the tool. It's, it's a 30 second thing and it will record that very accurately in the controller. Uh, let's see how it works. So if we just replace tool four and we wanna remeasure a tool, this could be for anything in the tool changer. Um, we're just gonna press jog, which is F4. We'll then press MDI, which is F4. It was tool four, so we're just gonna type M104 and cycle start. And we'll now see that the machine will put away tool one, it will get tool four, and we will then measure tool four. The offset of tool four will then be stored in the controller for when we need it. It's now gotten tool four, it's simply going to jog over and measure that on the tool height sensor there at the end. And so it's all automated. You don't have to do this uh, by hand if you get an automatic tool height sensor. It's very simple. And there you go. So it goes down not once, but twice to verify the length and it then stores that in the controller. So as you do more programs and as you do tool changes, you don't have to continually measure the tool. It'll remember that for you.